everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and we are in EverQuest, and I believe at one point I said I was going to show you how I kite with charm kiting and whatnot, and this is pretty much it. So I have um, two mammoths, uh, woolly mammoths, and they will stop me from time to time, and that's fine. Um, but what I do is I take the pet or mob that I am attacking um, first and then as it's being attacked I already have it targeted and then I, um, I pick up the um, uh, I, I charm the next one and that's what this allows me to be able to um, continually switch between two mobs and have pets and though here I'm getting hit a lot it's fine um, as long as I continue to keep um, staying away from them uh, long enough for me to get the next charm on so here you should see that um, this pet that I had um, is actually going to um, take out that woolly mammoth that I had previously because of the fact it's almost dead and this way I can loot from one to one uh, the problem is is that it gets to the point where you run out of uh, mammoths to kill um, because you don't want to kill the um, the mammoth calves they don't have the, what I'm actually out here for and that's the um, the tusks the tusks sell for about 10 plat a piece, and um, they're, it's a really easy camp to do, or it's really easy to do out here uh, without disturbing or annoying anyone, uh, because you pretty much only have control of two uh, mammoths at a time. Uh, sometimes I've gotten to the point where I can um, uh, throw other mobs at the mammoth that I'm attacking like uh, if I get um, aggroed by an icy solist or I get uh, attacked by uh, an orc for some reason um, then I will try to um, take them by the way between charm kiting and fear kiting depending on how my health was um, I would also um, or between charm kiting Whenever I had a mammoth that had a lot of hit points, I would go ahead and, um, <laughs> oh, by the way, what, what I did there was wrong, <laughs> because I was trying to get, uh, two songs switched. Um, I ended up deleting a dot of mine so that I could put in, um, my fear song, and I ended up doing it completely wrong, so... Anyway, it got done. I lived, and um, but what I end up doing is this guy. I just get tired of him after a point from fear kiting, just because it's taking forever, um, and he's breaking fear easily. So I end up getting um, uh, him down to probably about fifty percent. Um, and then go grab um, another mammoth to kill him with. Now, I don't mind using uh, mammoth calves to kill uh, because of the fact that they, um, they will do enough damage to one of these guys when they're pretty low anyway. Um, the one problem I had but was because of the, um, the rate he was... Um, as you can see there, I was already going back to fear him, and um, he already lost fear, and I was using my horn, my brass horn, which should have made it last longer, but um, a lot of times what I'll do is if a mob is breaking my, um, my fear too early, is um, I will change the rotation, so the rotation goes from... Um, uh, snare as you saw there he had already come back off of fear and um, I was fearing him earlier than I did before 
Uh, but normally what I'll do is my rotation is snare, fear, um, horn dot, or brass dot, uh, string dot. And then uh, back to fear. This will allow me to be able to um, uh, keep them in a specific way. But he keeps breaking fear. I think I end up um, at some point soon just running and getting another mob to kill him with. And I believe you can hear he broke his slow. And uh, anyway, I was having all kinds of troubles with this guy. Um, just to talk about what I've been doing lately. Um, the reason I brought cords here is because I need money for my wizard. Um, trying to get a few things for him, like the um, Duskrier's um, uh, orb, uh, which is a ranged item that has three two or three intelligence and 30 mana. Um, and it's about 3k, and though it sounds expensive for what it is, it, it's one of the best ranged items you can have in your low levels. Now when you get higher level, there's um, a, a ceremonial dagger, uh, or you can get a, uh, the dagger that I have on cords, which has um, uh, dex, but it also has resists on it. Um, yeah, the, <laughs> I think I keep going back to check to make sure that he's still on me, and I end up getting this other mammoth, I believe. Yeah, so I got a regular woolly mammoth to, to attack him. But yeah, I, um, I, I want that. Um, I'm also missing about seven pieces of armor. Um, that I haven't filled because he's doing pretty well without him. Uh, any other items that I get for him will um, benefit him in helping him be alive and also increase his mana itself. Um, by the way, I don't think I've even done a video yet where I show Fever, uh, which I would like to do, just showcase what he has, what he looks like in um, the groups and the nice people that I group with uh, on him. Um, but right now, um, he has 202 intelligence without the Duskrier's Ball, and, um, the plan is to get him to 250 intelligence, um, or 240 intelligence, anywhere around that range, and then blast everything else with, um, hit point mana, um, uh, gear. And I think here I ended up picking up an orc because the orc attacked my uh, my pet mammoth. Um, so I'm going to have to throw that orc at one of the pets in a second. Yeah. I think I actually, it's easier for me just to turn the orc into a pet and attack them. Um, there we go. Yeah, so now the orc is attacking the mammoth, and then I'm going to go ahead and loot. Um, I don't think I see any cash loot that they drop. Um, by the way, I was so lucky here that I kept getting all these mammoths in the area. Because sometimes you have to run across the whole zone just to find them. Um, and I, I was just happy about this area that I was, I was farming in. Um, I think I did about five or six mammoths in a row um, on this um, on this kite, and while all it is is um, changing your um, your pet, it is kiting in a way. And um, anyway, it's just all about having fun with cords right now, and this was fun. Um, I ended up trying earlier to take on um, Red Wing. And, um, one thing is I was able to mez all, or not mez, but charm, not charm, um, that other thing you do, uh, lull. I, I was able to lull all of them, but they would not single target pull. Um, I slowed, uh, or snared one of them to pull them, and it ended up pulling all of them. So, I died on that. 
but um, I really wasn't too worried about it. Um, got back pretty easy thanks to a guilty of mine, and um, and just I don't know. It was all it was all around just a fun night. Um, got on Fever for a while. Got in a group with some friends. I could have probably gone to miss more, but um, ended up just um, um, gripping with them on the Aviox in um, um, South Carolina. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you. I am uh, doing that kite thing. I'm killing those mammoths and. Uh, and get me some money. Um, I think I made around 70 plat on this rotation. Uh, which is awesome. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just let it play out. And I'll go ahead and add some music uh, from here on. Thank you again, guys. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.